What's up, guys? My name is Anton Suarez, and welcome to Anton Suarez Gaming, or ASG for short. And this is going to be a tutorial. Now, many of you, like me, probably enjoy playing Grand Theft Auto V. And mostly the reason you're here is a tutorial on Z Modeler. Now, Z Modeler is a tool that we've been using for a long time now in the GTA modding community. It's been used in GTA San Andreas, I believe, GTA 4, and now it just got updated, I believe, in the month of August, uh, early, month, uh, early August for GTA 5. Now, in this tutorial, we're going to be doing a simple car model we're going to we're going to be taking the sabre or sabre however you want to pronounce it the sabre gt and we're going to make it a cop car now believe me i am a total noob on this software but we're going to try it anyway and maybe even you you guys know more and we'll probably have the same issue i've been having where the interior textures are not loading for me i cannot figure out the files that i'm missing i have not been able to pinpoint the issue but maybe you'll have better luck in that so what you'll need is you'll need z modeler z modeler you can go on their website and download it it, it does cost money i do i did purchase this for about five dollars you can purchase it for five dollars a month you can do a year plan there's different plans you can do i did the five dollars i wanted to test it out i never i have not done gta 5 modding before so i wanted to test it out so you do have to pay for that. The next program you would need is Open4. Open4 uh, Open is what we use to look inside Grand Theft Auto V's files. So you'll need that to look through the car files. So once you're in Open4, you're going to go to time64e.rpf. You're going to go to Levels, GTA 5, and Vehicles. Then you're going to type in Sabre or whatever car you want to try. I'm going to do the Sabre. And then you're going to open up your files. So here I'm going to go to uh, my SSD. I just got an SSD, and we're going to throw these files, we're going to drag them into there. Now when we place them back, we're going to hit edit mode, and edit mode is going to automatically do things, so I'd hit edit mode now, and what it's going to say is, if you have never used Open4 yet, it's going to ask you to please install the ASI loaders. I believe if I go here, somewhere, it says the ASI loaders, here, ASI manager. And you can go in here, and I would you got to download these two ASI loaders. And once you get those, you'll be good. So now that we have these files, we're going to go into Z Modeler. Now in Z Modeler, you can go select these files. So now we have, let's see where I place those. I place those on the outside of the SSD. I've been playing around with it before, but we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to use the high model. So I'm going to use the Sabre underscore GT high YFT. YT, YFT. So we're going to import this and for the preloaded pack, so I've made a folder called textures and this is one of the things that I'm not really sure about and this is why I would rather actually have some help in the comments if you do know more about the situation than I do. So the textures we're going to load because I did bring the texture with me. So if I import this, I, I import the high model, I can add and then I can add the one I put here which is the Sabre GT uh, YTD. Which is, this is a texture model. This is for the Sabre GT. Now, there's other models that have to be defaultly added. So that one of those in my textures folder here um, is vehicle share. So vehicle share will load this up. So there it is. I just bugged out for a second. I couldn't find VH share. This is another file we'll need. So what you'll do is to get, um, to get all these files, you'll need to go where we just got the Sabre. You'll type in, type just type in vehicle in your vehicles.rpf. We'll type in vehicles. And what I re recommend you do is take all these files here and put them in a folder so then you can select them and use the textures you have. So so when you import a car, you already have the textures in a folder and you don't have to bring them with you every time. So here are all the YTD files, the texture files that we're going to be using. Now, these are the ones I believe are correct. Now, I'm not 100% sh sure. You can do a little bit playing around with what the textures are asking for. So you see here, I already attempted to load this. And I get some errors. I cannot locate the script rt dials dot, dot uh, underscore dukes dot dds, the dominator dash dot dds. These things here, I I don't know what textures they're under. So we'll try to import this. So we'll import this, and we can see the errors we get. So we get we get failed to locate texture env dot dds. All these we fail to locate, and I'm not sure where they are. There's not many. There's not. There's no clear documentation of the location of the textures so that's one thing that you may have a problem with so if we go in the interior we most likely are not going to have an interior interior represented by these boxes 
So now, what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're going to put a light bar, a police light bar on this vehicle. So back into OpenIV, we're going to go to Update, then Update, uh, no, X64, then DLC Packs, uh, D Patch Day 3 and G, DLC, X64 again, Levels, and then GTA 5, and then Vehicles RPF. And I'll have that all listed below while I'm saying that. So, what we're going to find in here is the police vehicle. So, we're going to type in police, and what we're going to be replacing is the police vehicle 2. And this is the model we're going to be replacing. So, you can see what it uses in using textures here. Unfortunately, OpenIV doesn't show the interior texture, so it makes it hard to kind of guess what this uses. So, yeah, so we're going to load this in, and I really wish that OpenIV would include that. Um, so we're going to highlight all of these and we're going to bring them into somewhere. Uh, let's see. Uh, we'll bring them. I already have. Oh God. There's too many folders. It gets too confusing. Um, we'll make a new folder. We'll make a new folder. Make this all nice and clean. We'll call this police. And we'll throw all these three, all these files. Okay. That's why I didn't want that. Uh, we'll throw. We'll throw all those files into here. So great. Now we'll go back into ZModeler. We're going to import these. We're going to go to Police, and we're going to take the High Model. Now I already have all the things set up here. So we have the uh, VEH Share. We have the VEH Share Army. All of these here. And we also have the Poll Tax Interior Vehicles underscore Poll Tax Interior, and we're going to see if we can actually successfully load the interior. So we'll import this. We will hide the R uh, Sabre. And we'll go inside the vehicle. And yes, we do have an interior. So so you can load an interior. But the problem I'm having is I can't find the interior for the Sabre GT. And if you do know the interior for the Sabre GT, please leave it in the comments below. It will make this tutorial series much, much easier. And I really want to keep going with this because it is a very, very cool to do this kind of things with um, GTA 5. So in the police 2 underscore high, we're going to scroll all the way down till we see misc 8. Uh, misc, I won't save him. That's kind of annoying. Um, we're right here. So misc A, misc underscore A, we're going to take that, we're going to go linking, and we're going to unlink. We'll unlink that, and we'll, um, I don't know if I want to take sirens with me. I'll take a few sirens. We'll take 7, and I don't really need 14, I don't believe. Another problem with this uh, doing this is the uh, rear view lights have a mess up. I believe it's a texture issue, but we'll see that once we do that. So we'll take that, and we're going to minimize Police 2 now. We're going to delete Police 2, because we do not need it anymore. And we're going to load back the Sabre. So it's pretty good now, so that the light bar is decently placed, but it's not perfectly placed to what I want it is. Not, I don't think it's perfectly centered. So in our other windows in Open... Uh, in, Z modeler, excuse me. So we're gonna try to highlight this bar, and if I can't fully highlight it, I'm actually gonna hide it again and take it up. So when we're kind of highlighting this, we're gonna try to take the the under part here, because if we don't do that, it kind of moves pieces up separately. So if I do it like this, it will start. I'm not in the move section. So when you're moving it, try to grab the under section. If you don't, it's gonna start separating, which is very very annoying. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab from underneath. So we're going to grab the two yellow feet, uh, the two red feet, and then we'll be able to move it up. And once we move it up, we'll bring the Sabre back, and then we can move it back down into position. So now the light bar is in a decently placed uh, position. I like how that looks. So we're going to, you can also see right here, there's a little piece of light that we're also going to move around a little bit, and that's Siren 7. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in this view, which is the front view. We're going to move it over a little bit so we can actually grab it when the car is there, which is also another thing. I wish I could select um, from the side, be able to click here, and then once I click here, it knows I selected in the 3D view, and then I can move it there. But that's just a wish. Um, so now that it's moved over, we should be able to grab it when we're in 3D. And we're going to take that, and we're going to move it to where I want it. So right, I'm going to move this right above where the rear view mirror is. So right there, but in the 3D view, you can see how that's hovering above the car. So we're going to zoom in, and using middle mouse button, we're going to drag the camera up, and we're going to select it again. you got to zoom in a lot for this. And you got to zoom in, and then we're going to drag it right under the um, uh, rear view mirror. 
so now we have the light right it should be right there so when we turn the lights on we'll see the little flash there now you can also do that in the back if you really wanted to use one of the other buffaloes like the undercover FBI buffalo then you can get the back rear lights under sirens and you can mess with that in the positioning you put them in the rear view mirrors but something like this now this is ready for export and one thing that I had an issue with and we're oh so one thing I did I left out um, I moved misc a into um, I linked it with the car model now so if we see here misc a is inside the car model it was unlinked so we'll, we can unlink it again and I'll show you so what all you just got to do is just drag it in and just put it anywhere you want same thing with siren 7 and boom so now everything is part of the car model so what we have to do and one thing that I thought you had to do was export this um, as the name of what you wanted so I thought you had to export this as police but that is incorrect what you do is you go to file we're gonna export and we're gonna export as the name of the vehicle so we have to export as Sabre GT underscore uh, HI so this will export like that we'll export once like that so we're gonna go where that was just saved so that's in here and I got all these other ones that are gonna confuse everything so we'll delete these I'm sorry about that um, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna rename it so this was Sabre GT high we're gonna take this we're gonna rename it to police 2 currently with open 4 there's a kind of annoying bug that if you leave it open and you're doing things in other windows this main area disappears so it's kind of annoying so to add the police model to your game we're gonna to go to update x64 DLC packs 3ng uh, uh, patch day 3ng DLC x64 again levels and GTA 5 and then vehicles then we're gonna search for police whoa sorry about that um, police 2 so we have the police 2 YTF we're gonna take this and we're gonna drag it into there oh we gotta turn the edit mode on so this is the point so yes we're gonna change this I would highly recommend you back this file up so let's see do I even have this backed up myself yes I do so we're gonna take this and we're gonna import it here and then we're gonna double click and see if it works and yes it does so as you can see here we have it imported successfully so now well that's the normal model this is the uh, police um, 2 YTF now we have to do the other model so now we're gonna rename this again or you can make a copy let's actually just copy we'll copy this and we'll paste it here and that's gonna be a copy and we're gonna rename this one to police 2 underscore HI so the oh oopsie rename that again so police 2 underscore HI dot YTF and this one is going to replace the other police model so now we have both versions of the police Buffalo um, changed so now we're gonna hop into Grand Theft Auto 5 and see how it looks I also did set it up so you should have game sound I don't know how loud it is I will hear that in a moment well hope if you're hearing this part of the video then you know that the, uh, the game sound was low enough and I felt it suitable so um, we're gonna hit F4 we're gonna go spawn and warp we're gonna type in police 2 and we're gonna press enter and there we go so this is our police vehicle now everything works the, you get the front light um, you get even the rear view light the rear uh, lights work kind of ish they don't work perfectly and you can see the front lights textures are messed up and that is mostly texture issues where um, we're using the police texture so the police texture are loaded if we did take more time and uh, took the YTDs of the Sabre GT and the police vehicle and we combine them and then re-import them under the police vehicle then we would have um, our fine model of police li police and Sabre lights and maybe that even might even fix the interior so this is another problem the interior is needless to say busted um, it really doesn't work but in any other situation and if you do use LSPDFR which we'll just hop into that real quick and we'll just jump and become a cop real quick and uh, if you're really not a fan of first person mode in vehicles at least, or as a police vehicle, you can use it as a normal police vehicle. It registers because we replaced it, the police buffalo. So if we flip our lights on and uh, press A, we will pull this guy over. And it works really, really well. So that's going to be it for this video. What do you think about Z Modeler? If you have any issues with Z Modeler, leave it in the comments section below. And I will message you back, as always. 
My name's David Suarez. Please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.